Hi, I'm Dr Judy Friedlander from Planting Seeds B and B Highway. How can these smart devices help the plants and native stingless bees in this garden and the birds above? The answer is through citizen science. Citizen science is an amazing way that a citizen, a student, teacher, any learner can contribute to biodiversity databases and maps through the taking and uploading of images of species. And schools will have the opportunity to engage in citizen science in September's National Biodiversity Month through a nationwide BioBlitz. More on that and how citizen science links to learning outcomes and curriculums in a minute. Taxonomy was once the domain of white-coated scientists with years of university training. While this expertise is still important, everyday Australians are increasingly identifying species through citizen science apps and smart devices. These devices now have the capacity to communicate with the internet and take extraordinary images. If uploaded to a reputable citizen science app like iNaturalist, your observations and images can be identified by experts. Importantly, these observations fill information gaps to help scientists understand species declines and assist with regeneration strategies. An uploaded plant, bee, butterfly or bird observation to a citizen science database could help paint a fuller picture of local biodiversity. It could be the piece of a missing puzzle or astound scientists with its rarity. September's National Biodiversity Month. It's a great time to get involved in the incredible nationwide school citizen science initiative, the B&B &B BioBlitz. A BioBlitz is a way to discover and record as many living things as possible within set locations and over a limited time. This generates or extends biodiversity data at chosen locations. Scientists and government organisations are calling out for more biodiversity data. And the good news is that citizen scientists can help. Only 5% of citizen science projects are urban based. The Citizen Science B&B &B School BioBlitz is happening around National Threatened Species Day in September and schools around Australia can all participate through devoting a lunch hour or another set period of time to citizen science. Students can explore their school grounds, take photos of bugs, birds, plants and other species, and have a designated teacher upload the images to iNaturalist and its Australian node, the CSIRO's Atlas of Living Australia iNaturalist is a network of citizen scientists and biologists around the globe that maps and shares observations of biodiversity. 105 million and counting. The first National Citizen Science B&B &B BioBlitz in schools will shine a spotlight on threatened species, contribute to important biodiversity data, build STEM knowledge, and demonstrate citizen science links to curriculum. These amazing creatures, taken with a macro lens on an everyday smart device, a phone, computer or the like, are a native stingless bee, a king parrot, a caper white butterfly, and a species of native aster. And students around Australia will be able to take images such as these in the big school B&B &B BioBlitz in September. Coordinated by Planting Seeds Projects and the B&B &B Highway, the B&B &B BioBlitz has the support of organisations such as the New South Wales Department of Education and the CSIRO's Atlas of Living Australia. Planting Seeds implements and supports regeneration activities and education in a number of Australian states through the B&B &B Highway. There will be 100 B&Bs, which stands for Bed and Breakfasts for Birds, Bees and Biodiversity by year end, creating regenerative corridors and sanctuaries for people, plants and pollinators whose numbers are declining. For the BioBlitz, 
schools will be provided with guidelines and instructions to show you how easy it is to use devices to take observations and contribute them to biodiversity databases. The B&B BioBlitz offers students in late primary and early years of high school an opportunity to contribute valuable observations and develop STEM skills. Citizen Science also offers many valuable links to the Australian and state school curriculums. There are activities relevant to many curriculum areas and all age groups. In Humanities and Social Sciences, in Technologies, in Science. You can explore your local area and see what species have been observed. You can see distributions of species around Australia. Check on the status of species. Do a deep dive into a species you're interested in. A fun feature of a BioBlitz and iNaturalist is the leaderboard. A leaderboard allows participating schools and students to see their observations and compare their school with others for collaborations and challenges. Participating schools in the BioBlitz will be able to win great prizes such as Optus smartphones for special photos and observations. Prizes for most unusual species. most peculiar plant, most breathtaking bug and bird, most species observed, the best close-up. To join the B&B BioBlitz and for more information, register through our website at ps.org.au and follow the BioBlitz prompts or email us at info at ps.org.au. There are workshops in real time and recorded to take you through the simple steps involved. Biodiversity needs citizen scientists like you. So enjoy your bioblitzing and I hope you make some exciting discoveries.